Hey everybody, this is Joe Bovino from Bovino Law Group, clearing a path to your American dream. And today I wanna to talk about the E2 visa source of funds requirement, source of funds. What does that mean? Well, it's an important requirement of the E2 visa. The E2 visa is an investment visa, an investor visa, okay? So you have to make an investment and that the funds that are invested have to come from a lawful source, okay? And that lawful source has got to be yours. So lawful and yours personally, if you're the applicant. Uh, so what sort of sources are we talking about? It could be, for example, your earnings from employment, right? You have a job abroad and you're making good money and you're saving it and the money goes from your savings account or checking account, whatever, as long as it's yours, into the investment that you're making uh, with, for the E2 visa in the United States. Okay, so earnings from your employment. Could also be uh, if you, your proceeds, if you sell a business abroad or you sell some property, you know, some real estate, that those proceeds that come to you can be used for your E2 visa investment. That's a legal and proper source of funds. What else? Gift. Yes, you can have a gift. Maybe a family member makes a gift. What they would do is basically have a declaration where they would declare uh, that they are uh, gifting you this money and the money has to come to you personally. It can't go into your business directly. It would come to you and it's in writing and that's it. So then it becomes your money and then you can invest it in your E2 business. And that would be a legitimate and lawful source of funds. Uh, inheritance is another one. Let's say you inherited some money. I mean, good for you if you do. And that, that's your money, right? It's perfectly legal. And that's a legitimate source of funds. And that inheritance funds can be used as well. Uh, what else is the, the loan? This comes up a lot. What about a loan? People say, you know, you don't have, let's say they don't have enough in savings. Can I just get a loan? Yes, but it's got to be a personal loan. Okay, either a loan that you personally guarantee or secured by your personal assets, your name's on there, you have to be personally responsible. It can't be that you're a loan that's secured by the commercial assets of your business. Okay, that's not going to work. That loan will not work. That will not be considered a legitimate source of the funds. And so those funds won't count. It's got to come. This has got to be your money. The E-2 visa is a very personal thing, personal to the applicant. So again, if it's a personal loan, personally guaranteed, you're on the hook, right? Those funds can be used. Uh, regardless of which type of funds you have as your source, uh, in your E-2 visa application, you're gonna have to prove it up, okay? You can't just assert it. You've gotta show that the money came from, let's say you sold your business abroad. Sold your business, you got to show the contract, the money came from somebody else that went into your, let's say went into a foreign bank account. And then you transferred those funds into your, your US account or the account of your business, however it works. Uh, you've got to show that clearly to the, uh, the person who's examining and really judging your application. As I always tell, tell my clients, remember this person who's going to be making that decision doesn't know your business like you do. Uh, who knows what kind of day they're having? So you just have to make it as clear and simple as you can. Just lay it out. These are the funds. Here's where they went. Here's where they came from. Here's how I moved them over. And this was the investment I made. So that's how it works. That's the source of funds requirement. Uh, it can it can be very important, uh, even if you know if you've made a big investment, but you haven't shown the source of it. It could raise questions. Red, it will raise questions, red flags, and the question is how how uh, big are those flags? Like how serious or significant is the problem? Uh, the idea is to, like I said, to make it clear. Okay, that's all for now. That's the source of funds requirement. If you have questions for me about your specific situation in relation to the source of funds requirement or anything else relating to E2 visa or any other visa, schedule a consultation with me on, the, on our website, bovinolawgroup.com. 
or send me an email, joe at bovinolawgroup.com. And remember to uh, click like if you enjoyed this video. It helps others to find it. And feel free to subscribe if you want to catch the next one uh, about whatever, uh, whatever subject comes next, okay? I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for your time and uh, good luck out there. Cheers.